What's up, YouTube? I'm G Infinite. Today, we'll be exploring William Baker, also known as Sandman, uh, and we'll definitely be getting into some of his infamous battles with Spider-Man. So today's episode is on Sandman. All right, guys, so let's get into this. The first figure that I wanted to talk about is uh, a builder figure. Believe it or not, um, Hasbro did drop a Sandman builder figure before they dropped another builder figure of Sandman. And this is the first Sandman builder figure by Hasbro. Um, this is from the Spider-Man 3 movie, uh, from that wave of, of the Spider-Man 3 figures. You have the black Spider-Man in the traditional black outfit. And then you have, um, of course, Green Goblin. You have Dr. Octopus. And of course you have um, a couple of the other characters such as Mary Jane and so forth. So. This is really, really cool. I love what they did with this Builder figure. Um, this is more one of the most priciest, I believe, uh, Sandman from what I've been looking at. Um, and it's just really, really cool. Love how they made the whole body just like sculpted in sand. And it looks like, you know, the sand is just like coming out. Um, and you see that there in the hands and on the legs. It's more almost like a like a sophisticated kind of like statue figure. Very, very cool. Like what they did with the head sculpt. Looking into the head sculpt, you see there he has that mean look and his mouth is open and he just looks like he's ready to fight. Sandman uh, being able to um, shape shift is a really, really cool character. Um, and also he does have his run-ins with Spider-Man and, and, and you know, those fights are epic. But really, really cool here. If you look at the back, um, just well sculpted. A lot of grooves, you know, um, and a lot of like rocky patterns. You notice that the sand has a couple of different colors there. It, it goes into like these darker uh, washes there of like almost like a, a brown, uh, light brown. And then, of course, into that cream color that you see or that sand color. Um, which is really, really cool. Um, definitely love what they did. You notice there on the body where the belt is, uh, the sand looks a little bit darker and more of that brown color. And then, of course, you see here like the sand just coming out and he's just starting to like form. So it's just really, really cool the way they did this builder figure. This is probably one of my favorite Sandman builder figures from the Spider-Man 3 uh, wave that was done by Hasbro. And one thing that I definitely like is just how they made the whole body and they sculpted the whole body, uh, that sand pattern, you know. So this is from the Spider-Man 3, the movie, um, and this is Sandman. All right, guys, so the next figure that I want to talk about is also from the uh, Spider-Man 3 uh, Hasbro wave. This is also another Sandman that was dropped, and it's just really, really cool what they did with him. Um, he does have more interchangeable hands. However, here I have him with the two hands, like almost like the ones that he, he mutates to grab stuff, and you see how he changes those hands, and he shapes them and they, they mold into like that sand pattern. You notice there, you see all the little different grooves of sand. Um, and it's just a really, really cool figure. Um, this is more of a Sandman, but the arms are like just more massive. Um, this is a, a, a smaller Sandman as far as in scale, but definitely love what they did. They gave him that serious look. This is from the Spider-Man 3 movie, so um, it is a, a lot older um, as far as when Hasbro dropped this wave. And one thing that I noticed is the pants. They gave him the traditional brown pants there, but it's more of a lighter color. And then they gave him uh, the 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 boots there are like a a almost like a darker brown. And then, of course, you see Sandman with his traditional shirt there. Um, and, and you notice the stripes that he's always wearing. So that's really, really cool. And then they gave him almost like a reddish hair color there or an orange hair color. So he looks really, really serious. And this Sandman is also uh, part of the Spider-Man 3. And he also has a lot to do with the... Uh, build a figure from that wave. So 
if you're looking for him, uh, these guys, you could probably still find them. Uh, but definitely the Spider-Man Builder figure is something that I would try to get. Um, it's just because it is very, very different. And the way it moves around and the flexibility on it is just... You know, it's just really, really cool. Um, this is one of the builder figures that is very different from the builder figures I've seen done by Hasbro. But this Sandman, very, very cool. Typical Sandman that you see there looks a lot more serious and definitely more of the human Sandman. So right there, this is also done by the Spider-Man 3 Hasbro wave. And this is from the builder figure Sandman. All right, guys, now this Sandman, definitely a very, very cool builder figure. They did such an amazing job with this Sandman. Hasbro uh, dropped this Sandman and it came in a really, really cool wave. This is the Sandman builder figure that we have here. And um, just an awesome builder figure. Um, this Sandman, when it dropped, I noticed it did come with so many different interchangeable hands. And let's get right right into it. Um, the first hand there you see is the is the closed fist, and you see like the sandy spikes coming in, and it's just very rocky like. Um, but it does it does look very very realistic as far as what they've done so far with Sandman. They gave it that darker uh, sand color, and it's just really really cool you see here he has the traditional ball and spikes um coming out of the sand hand that he has there and that's just a i love the look that they gave him they did start making that sand pattern from the elbow all the way down so that just adds a little bit more to that and then of course the head sculpt um, the head sculpt is amazing. On this side, you see more of that Flint Marco. And then on the other side, you see that Sandman. So it's just a really cool look. It looks almost like that muddy sand is starting to form. And it's just really, really a nice touch to Sandman. Um, I did like uh, this head sculpt more because, of course, if you have them weaponized, it just gives you that more of that rugged and that vicious Sandman look. But of course, he does come with his regular uh, Flint Marco head. There you see him, the regular Sandman. So you could switch up, and that's one thing that I like. He does have the regular Sandman head sculpt. Um, and it just is a good look. As you can see there, he's very serious, um, like always. The other one, you know, I like it because his mouth is open and it looks like he's screaming. So on this head sculpt here, um, you know, it just looks, he looks so much more vicious. But um, love what they did with the interchangeable hands. Um, here, he has that hand uh, that looks like almost he's about to grab you. And then inside the hand there on the palm, it, it has like those sandy spikes coming out. And then, of course, you see one there on the finger, which is really, really cool. And he has the traditional sand hammer. Um, so you can change those how you want to pose them, uh, however you want. Uh, I do like the way they made this figure. He is very posable and very flexible. Um, I think that it is definitely one of the better Sandmans out and definitely uh, an amazing Sandman done by uh, Hasbro. So if you're looking at this one, this is the Sandman build a figure done by Hasbro. All right, guys. So the next Sandman figure um, is really, really cool. This Sandman figure is from the Spider-Man Classics. Um, and one thing that I noticed about this one is that he also came with a bunch of interchangeable hand pieces. Um, not he's not as big in scale as of course the builder figures are but it is a really well done sandman i like the detail on the face if you look at the head sculpt there um just looks really serious and he looks a lot older and then you notice the more of that uh comic book series uh sandman look of course you see the stripes on the shirt there which is uh, like that green and almost like that black, that's black lining there going through. And it's just a really, really cool look. Of course, the pants are brown and the boots there are brown as well. 
And one thing that you notice is that um, here you have a couple of different things. Uh, this hand, you see it kind of has like that rotation. It's, it has like a little curve. And then it has the ball, that sandy ball with the spikes on it. And then here, one thing that they did on this interchangeable hand is that they gave him something really, really cool, which is like to grab. Um, when I usually put him a pose, you can open this hand. And you can, it has like a, almost like a small lever here in the back. And you can open it and you can actually put like him grabbing Spider-Man by the foot or however you want to pose him. But it is a cool way to kind of like look at Sandman and say, oh, well, at least now he has something where I can pose him up against Spider-Man in a battle scene. And then, of course, if you like him, uh, just a regular Sandman, um, Flint Marco, uh, you can go ahead and put these both hands back on which i found that really cool as well and then they gave him another hand and this hand very sandy it looks almost if you look here it's like three fingers well four fingers um but three fingers and a thumb and it's just really really cool the way they made it look you know um i like what they did they gave it like a rough brown color and it just looks really really cool now as far as these um interchangeable hands there was one more um and that interchangeable hand kind of looks like an axe um i'm pretty sure i have it somewhere in display but for now i just wanted to mention it there are four interchangeable hands plus his regular hands of course so if you're looking at a total of six different uh pieces uh that you can you know interchange so this sandman is from the spider-man classics and this is also done by toy biz all right, guys, real quick, I just forgot to mention there is one more Sandman, um, and that Sandman is part of uh, one of my collection box sets, um, and it's called the Raft box set. So what you're looking at here is the Sandman from the Raft box set, and that's by San Diego Comic-Con. Really, really cool Sandman. Looks very, very similar in scale to the Build-A-Figure Sandman that I showed you, the last one. Uh, done by Hasbro and um, that's the latest builder figure that was done by Hasbro. So this Sandman Similar very similar in scale. The only difference is that the shirt there has more of those brown tones You see the stripes there are dark brown and a light brown and then of course the pants there are dark brown uh, Love this box set because it looks like a cell and you know you have a couple of the villains in there and Then you of course you have spider-man so this is the Raft box set, and this is just an awesome box set. There you see the, the artwork of it, and it's just really, really neat. Um, so I just wanted to show that Sandman because, yes, there is another Sandman, and he's part of the Raft box set, and he looks amazing. So that is also another Sandman. There you can take a good look at it, hopefully. And like I said... Uh, please subscribe, hit that bell for the next notification, and definitely hit us with a like. I'm G-Infinite. Peace out, YouTube.